Hi everyone, it's Robin. Welcome back to the nest. So today I'm going to be doing a uh, Cinderella diaper cake. Uh, it's a Cinderella carriage diaper cake. I saw one of these on YouTube, but it was in fast forward and <clears throat> it was really hard to follow along. So um, I'm not sure that I caught everything exactly and mine I'm sure will not look exactly like theirs did but um, I'm going to try it and I'm going to do it like I did my other diaper cake and you guys can just follow along as you want because it, this will be in segments to where it will cut off and you can catch up so this is um, what I've gathered together to use first off the most important thing are these paper lanterns and these are you get three of them and they're 10 inch 12 inch and 16 inch i'm actually going to use um the 16 inch one um to make the actual carriage part so i'm going to use that and then i know that i'm going to need some washcloths um at the end of this I'll know exactly how many of each that I've used and it will be in the description box underneath this video but right now I'm just showing you what I've gathered to use I also have some um, flannel blankets as well as some burp cloths and then diapers of course um, I also have some string pearls I picked these up at Michael's mm -hmm. So I have those. I also have some ribbon that I could possibly use somewhere. I have a little tiara that I think I picked up at um, maybe Target or um, Dollar Tree. There's some um, stuffed animals, one to pull the carriage and one to maybe ride inside. I have some washi tape that I could probably use. Um, I'm also going to be using some of these crepe paper flowers or crepe paper roses and I made these myself. I'll link um, the tutorial for that in the description box below. Um, what else? Oh, you're going to need a paper towel holder or I just happen to have um, this big tube here that um, was quite long probably need four paper towel holders and you can cut them put them together and then cut them down but uh, I'm going to use this because I have it and then um, you'll need a measuring tape possibly whoops some little wire snips something to cut your paper towels towel holder with I'm using a utility knife some scissors some rubber bands maybe a uh, hot glue gun and I think that is it so we are going to start off by use working with this right here so I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way whoops and this is in real terms so um, bear with me here just going to move this move this on out of the way um, I, if you're curious, these came from uh, Target as well. That's an, that's an extra one. They'll have these little wires in them, so I need to pull um, I need to pull all of those out. So the idea, hopefully I'm in frame. The idea is that I was pl practicing with this one, and I the carriage is too the holes too big but this is the smallest one we're going to cut part of that out to where we have an opening and turn it into a carriage so i'm going to need i have to keep going back and forth uh, let's just take this and can you see here I'm just going to snip right here, right there, and I think I'm going to do them one at a time. 
Well, I know that I'm going to need two off. Now these go in a spiral all the way around, so at some point, um, you know, we'll have to stop. But I just snipped two of the wires, and I'm going to come back around and see what that looks like. Because you can always uh, take a little bit more off, but it'd be really hard to put it, uh, you know, put it back on. So when I get back to here, I'm going to go just a little bit further up, like that. There's where I started. There's where I stopped. And then I'm going to snip it and cut. Can you see that? And then look and see um, how big the hole is. Now, before you rip the paper, you'll, you'll need to cut some little slits in this circular part for when we fold the uh, paper under and tape it, um, it, will, it won't rip. It will just fold on over for you. So just randomly. You don't have to measure this or anything, but just randomly cut it. I found that out by doing my little test thing and being a paper crafter. But just fold all that. And we're just kind of guessing right now to see. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's just flip it over then and do the same thing on this side. We're just going to snip. Cut up. And then let's snip one more. I hope this turns out because I only get one shot at this. This is the only one I have this, <laughs> this size. So hopefully... Get it. See, I've just snipped the first ring and then the second ring. And we're just going I'm cutting just right, right along that second ring right there. I'm cutting with the scissors. We're about to meet back up here with where we started. I'll go just a tad bit further. Stop right there and let's cut here and then finish cutting. So I just cut right there. Sorry, didn't mean to be out of frame. And then I'm just going to cut. This is just the paper cut down. Just do our little slits here so it will give and we'll be able to tuck it under. Sorry, I'm going to have to turn it to where I can see it. Let's see if that's big enough. If not, then... You know what? I think I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to grab my scotch tape. And I'm just going to start taping all these little tabs down in the back. You probably won't be able to... To see that, but I'm just taping them down. Oops.
so I know already it's going to take a lot of tape. You know what? Maybe if I did it like that. Hey. Okay. Yeah, let's flip it over. That uh, you can see it better, I think. this way. So there's our hole for one side. Do you kind of see in where we're going with this? Oh, okay. I'm going to finish taping that and then I'll be uh, right back after I'm done with that. Talk to you in a few. Look for part two.